suppose in those days I often wonder looking back on it, how the people got there. Like I think there was maybe in some of the papers uh, maybe thirty thousand people there and how did they got to go? well they got there by bicycle and there wasn't that many cars, it was all buses uh, mm. e even lorries. Like people were packed into the back of a lorry. And uh, I can't, can't remember, uh, I, I'd heard a lot uh, about uh, Rick Cavan, 56, and we beat Derry in 57. Yeah. And uh, like, there's turning points in games, and I look back over the years, and in 57, uh, there was a couple of kickouts from the Eastern Stand side, and, and Mick McKenney fielded them uh, about left half forward, and he was tall and lanky. Mm -hmm. He was actually uh, one of the, the guard of honour for, for uh, President Kennedy when he visited Ireland at that particular time. He went and joined the guards after that. Mm -hmm. And he, he scored two points in a couple of minutes and that set the place. I thought at that particular time, right, Derry are going to beat us here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Back to 56, Jody, and what were the what were the celebrations like there then? Because you know, that was Thrones first, wasn't it? They, 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 were, they were hectic. Uh, uh, funny anecdote about my own father. My own father was, uh, I, I looked at a man that looked beside us, and my father was up on the wire on down for the Jerry Arthur stand, uh, and uh, to go through the wires onto the field and all the rest, and down at the Creighton Hotel. I can always remember uh, someone came in and said to me, Your father wants you. And uh, underneath, he came out of the Creighton Hotel, he turned left down the street, and there was a sort of a, a, a barn underneath it. And I can always remember the, the, the bales of hay there, and uh, the Coal Island. Uh, mostly Coal Island people, and they had the cup, and uh, they, wa they wanted me to, to, to have, a, have a drink, and I just wanted it and said alcohol. So, and I looked at my father, and <coughs> he just spread his hands, but I said no. It was really good to us. Yeah. At what point did you realise I'm good at this game? I mean, probably as kids, you know. You, you think you're good, but you, you must have a realisation I'm one of the better players here. Mm. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Don't be too modest. <laughs> okay. you know. I was a big uh, child. Mm -hmm. I can remember measuring my, my height when, when, when I was uh, going to the academy, and I was six foot. Wow. I, I was a man child, uh, yeah. fit, in term fits, and uh, a well bruiser and as a good fielder, I was quite speedy. I thought that well, I won three big Dorans at the academy when I was there, mm -hmm. and even in my junior year, I won it as well. So, I speak and strong, and, and, and you felt right. Uh, but uh, I think even at that, you developed a competitive instinct mm -hmm. to be better. I was right footer. I finished up left foot. Wow. Okay. And uh, but uh, quite a few lefties at the moment playing football. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but did you work on that yourself? Or? Well, I worked on that against the gable of the house. My brother and myself, we kicked the ball for hours. Actually, it was the house had been. Uh, done up and Valley Castle Dash was the big thing at that particular time, small stones and glass and all that. Yeah. And I can remember uh, my father coming home and we had maybe a, a hundred weight of, of the stones <laughs> kicked off the wall. Yeah. Sounds like uh, similar myself now, it would be more soccer I would be doing, or even maybe the, the run to the final or anything. You know? There used to be a fellow from Francie Donnelly who was a couple of years older than me, lived in Amherst up near the football field, and he always sang uh, the Hills of Pomeroy uh, in the bus. And he didn't sing it that particular day, and I was kept going ballistic for him to sing it. Probably superstition. And finally he sang it going up. 
uh, from Rouse Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that settled me down. Now, Christy Mallon of Duncan was our uh, family. And I, I, I was marking him, and Joe Hart, who was a referee, died prematurely too, both dead young men. Uh, I can remember them mostly, but uh, well, Ed, Edward Devon wasn't on that team. He was studying dentistry and he, he didn't want to get injured, especially his hands. Yeah. What about the celebrations of that? I mean, Cele that celebrations were, were muted in those days. Uh, not, not, not like. Uh, Today, like the fellows as they win something, they're they're off for a week. Uh, quite a few people were pioneers, uh, not alcoholic drinkers, mm -hmm. and I was one of those. And yeah, you come home and knocked about the town and uh, enjoyed enjoyed the day. But that that, that was it. And then, uh, but but I, I was playing. Senior county at that particular stage as well, yeah. and uh, well, I, I suppose in 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 my day, right, smoking and drinking, you had the money to do either. Put it that way, mm -hmm. and that was a big factor in in staying maybe celibate. Had the honour of 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 at that particular time. The captain was came from the team that won the previous year's championship, and Jim Devon was, wasn't on the panel, and Edward was up in Dublin, and uh, well, I was asked to do it. I was dilatory because you you were a teenager and you finish up. Uh, so Tom Sullivan, who's still living here, he was in the minor team as well, and the huge agent down the street here at Hundred Yards. And he always remember him. He said, "For God's sake, for God's sake, do it." So I became captain, and it was just more or less uh, leading the team out the period. And I suppose it was a great honour for me and great honour for the family as well. Yeah. Even uh, is it right? You your first Tyrone senior appearance was when you were sixteen. We had play, we had played a match. Uh, in in his face face shield at that particular time, up in honour, mm -hmm. and it, 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 it transpired that there was a fallout with the West or Oma footballers, and they didn't arrive. There was a challenge match against Jerry, mm -hmm. so there wasn't enough of Tyrone players, mm -hmm. and I was asked to play. Well, you weren't going to say no. So I played right half forward and uh, another player from Cole Island, Malachi Gervin, he, he played top of the right and that made the 15. So I like to boast about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you did then, obviously you impressed and you were you were called up then. Did, was it 53 or 54 that you sort of were properly on the throne? Minors, yeah. No, the throne senior team then? Did you were, yeah. Uh, 53, 54. Yeah, yeah. I can remember so, someone writing uh, for, uh, for the first uh, uh, win against Cavan and he, 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 he talked about the veteran O'Neill and I said to myself, a veteran at 19. <laughs> yeah, so we're playing a little while. Yeah. 